there, it's me, Dr. Donna. We're here to talk about the books that we read last week and introduce the books for this week. Without further ado, let's get started. Welcome to week 41. Last week, we read Fish Tales, the fourth in the Fish series, and it did not disappoint. I'm super excited that we were able to finish this series. The book is really easy to read, but the part that resonated the most with me outside of the four-step fish philosophy was that you get what you give. If you're in a situation that you don't really like, it's because you're giving out things that you don't really like. If you want a great marriage, if you want a great career, if you want your business to excel, you have to give it first. Think about that for a moment sitting at work, you're sitting at your desk, you're sitting in your relationship, you're sitting in a house, a car, a job, whatever, you got these kids that you just want to choke out. Think about it. If you're giving out crap, Jim Rohn always says garbage in, garbage out. That's exactly what you're going to receive in return. If you want something to change, if you want to have an amazing life, you want to have an amazing business and an amazing career and great relationships, it starts with you. Give what you want and you're going to receive it in return. What step in the fish philosophy does that mirror? It's choosing your attitude. You choose what you want and you will have it in return. I guarantee it. Last week's TED Talk was a simple way to break a bad habit. All of us have them. I know, I feel like I'm perfect, but even Dr. Donna has bad habits. If you think about it, when you're trying to break a bad habit, you always force yourself to stop. If you want to stop smoking, stop drinking coffee, stop eating so much, stop just yelling. I was a yeller for a long time. When you want to stop doing something, you kind of force yourself to do it. And you do things, I used to suggest using a rubber band to pop on your wrist to stop the bad habit. But the doctor that gave us, or the presenter for the TED Talk told us, how about using a different way? Why don't we try mindfulness? The next time you want to light up that cigarette or you want to eat that piece of yummy, yummy chocolate cake, why don't you just think about it? Why am I wanting to eat this chocolate cake? What's causing me to want to have this cigarette? Why do I want to yell in my case? Then what you do is you think about the emotions associated with it. Because what happens is this three-step process that he talks about is a trigger, a behavior, and a reward. I'm having a bad day. I'm stressed out. That's the trigger. The behavior is, I'm going to light up a cigarette. And the reward is a euphoric feeling that you have right after you smoke the cigarette or right after you consume that piece of cake. Or for me, right after I go, oh, you're getting on my nerves, it's too much. But how about if you just became mindful? And in that moment, that trigger shows up, that stress-related moment shows up. And instead of lighting up, or instead of, in my case, ah, losing it, you just sit there with those feelings and you become mindful of what's taking place. You know what's going to happen? That trigger feeling is going to subside. It's going to go away. And then you will create a new behavior. Become mindful and all those bad habits are going to magically disappear. This week's book is Who Moved My Blackberry? And I know some of you are thinking, who still has a BlackBerry? The story is interesting, and we're going to get some golden nuggets from a corporate perspective. This is a book that you will want to read. It's going to be a treat. This week's TED Talk, Stop Searching for Your Passion. I can't wait to watch it because I'm all about finding what you do. Be passionate about what you do. Wake up every day and do it. I will be interested to see what the speaker has to say about stopping it. That link below, it's for you. You don't want to be average. Most people just read one nonfiction book a year. You're never going to change that way. You're never going to be able to turn your situation around. Click on that link below, follow the instructions, and join us as we come around third to complete our journey. As I always say, when you can read it and you can see it, then you can believe it and woo -woo, you can achieve it. From here to the Galax Sphere. I'll see you guys next week.